Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about Superman because there's a whole lot of people um, out there who need to go buy some capes because they're super mad. This is volume 783,612 in the series of videos responding to when did this become so woke? And the answer was always. Um, if you don't know, John Kent, who is Clark Kent and Lois Lane's son, well, he's by. And there are a whole lot of people who are mad about this. And the talking point that is being pushed out is that, well, we don't care about the superhero's love life. That's not what we're interested in. What we're interested in is, you know, them out there doing superhero stuff and fighting the bad guy. Which is a hilarious take coming from people who are talking about a character that only exists because of a superhero's love life. I mean, that, that seems odd. You know, Superman and Lois Lane, that, that whole thing. I mean, but I get it because it's not like other characters also had love interests throughout all of the comics ever. And it's incredibly common. It's not like Batman had Catwoman, Talia, Vicki Vale, Julie Madison. Okay, bad example because he did have a whole lot because he, you know, rich single guy. Uh, Punisher never had anybody except for... Catherine O'Brien, Lynn Michaels, Vicki White. Okay, maybe not a good one. Thing from the Fantastic Four, the giant rock guy. Yeah, I mean, it's not like he ever... Oh, he got married. He did. He got married. Alicia Masters. Okay, bad example. Um, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Nothing gets more wholesome than Wonder Woman. Okay, so Tom Tresser, Trevor Barnes, Aquaman, Batman, Superman. Um, oh, and she, she, she was by. Um, it, with all of this information, you, you have to acknowledge that it's not, that you don't care about the superhero's love life, because you do. It's a part of every single one of them. They all have one. It, it, it's integral. It isn't that, it's that you don't like this particular kind. That's what it is. Yes, it's bigotry. It is. Um, I, I would, I would point out that the reality is, is that most people who are objecting to this don't actually care about the love life of a comic book character being inserted into comic books because it's been that way since the thirties or forties. They care about John Kent somehow influencing their child and then their child will turn out that way. Right. That's the idea. And that's silly. Doesn't make any sense. I have a, a reverse question here. What happens if your kid is bi? And they don't see any representation for how they are, who they are. Are they going to get positive support from you if you're opposed to this? Probably not. If you can't stand for a comic book character to be by, probably not going to be real supportive of somebody in your life that way. And maybe that's the problem. You know, most, most comics, they have that overriding theme that everybody's a hero and that all we have to do is support each other. For people who read comics doesn't seem like you really got any of the messages. Most of them are about overcoming biases, prejudices, and bigotry. In one way or another, those themes are pretty much always present. When did it become woke? Always has been. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.